you're not making the progress you want. And it's because you don't do what you have to do to actually make it happen. It's really that simple. You want it, you dream about it, you beat yourself up for not having it, and you complain to your family and your friends about all the reasons why you don't have it yet, or you can't get it, or it's not gonna work for you, or why it's too hard. You stay up late at night doing research to try and find the secret. Like there must be some missing thing out there that you just don't know that other people know. You try to figure out what will finally work for you. You know you do that, right? We all do. And so you have to ask yourself though at a certain point, like why don't you have the things that you want? And all the dreaming in the world isn't really gonna help you get there. And sitting around and complaining isn't going to help you get there. And staying up late, doing research, isn't going to help you get there. And it's not because you're not good enough. It's not because you're not smart enough. It's not because you don't know what to do. You, you do, you know what you have to do. It's because you don't put in the time. You don't put the focus, you don't put the energy, you don't do what's required of you to actually make it happen. And so you have two, two options. Do what you have to do to fix this now or keep living in this sad state and wonder why you don't ever get what you want. You have a doing problem. So do I. <laughs> Ask my friend Evan. I have a huge doing problem. Ask Joshua who edits these videos. He'll say, Mark, you've got a doing problem. Most of us do because we believe that we have a knowledge problem. We think we have an understanding problem, a skill problem, a knowledge. We just, we just don't know what we need to do. Most of us believe that we have this skill problem, right? Like we just don't uh, have people who are gonna teach us. They're gonna take us under their wing. They're gonna show us what to do. And that's what we believe. Because honestly, our schooling system and the way we were raised ingrained within us this feeling that we need to be taught something. We need to be shown something. We need to be given the information before we can ever do. Like it's this gift and, and someone's gonna come along, um, this wise, smart person's gonna come along and they're gonna see us and they're gonna bestow upon us this. They're gonna impart on us this hidden wisdom, this knowledge. It's not in our control. We need someone else to come along and give it to us. And then when you add fear of making mistakes, the fear of messing up, the fear of making things worse, when you add that to it, when you add to it the feeling that you need to, to get a gold star, you need to be a good student, you need to be good at things right out of the gate, you need to find your natural talent. When you add those things together, the feeling that someone has to teach you, the feeling that you have to be good at everything right away, and the feeling that you cannot make a mistake, you set yourself up. You set yourself up a failure. Like, really. Nobody can live up to those standards. Nobody can live up to the standards that you set for yourself to be that good that early on. I can't live up to it. You can't live up to it. This holds us back. I say us. It holds me back. It holds you back. Nobody, not you, not anyone else, is gonna be able to live up to those standards. So the first thing you need to do is actually <sighs> calm down. <laughs> Look within yourself and it starts up here. It starts with the two areas you must work through. One, why do you keep sabotaging yourself? You know you're doing it, right? Like you're the one. What you do or what you don't do is sabotaging and robbing future you of having what you want current day you, present day you, the you who is watching this right now is robbing the future you of having everything you want. That's huge. People talk about looking back with regret. You know, I don't want to be at end of life or on my deathbed and think, why didn't I try this? Why didn't I do this? Why did I get too scared? They talk about that. What people don't talk about though is that the very things you're doing today or not doing today is setting up future you of getting the dreams, making more money, getting healthy, 
meeting the grandkids, whatever it is, or it's robbing future you of having those things. That's hard to come to terms with. That's hard to realize that you are responsible for you to take ownership. It's not anyone else. It's not the boss. It's not the customers. It's not the doctors. It's not your team. It's not your partner, your spouse, your kids. It's not your schooling, your country, your government. It's not any of that stuff. It's you. You. You want it. You are not doing what you need to do to get it. And you are robbing future you of having it. So why do you allow this to happen? Why do you keep messing up? Why, why do I do this? Why do we keep waiting for someone else to come in and do the hard work for us? It's never going to happen. Why are you willing? Why are we willing to let life go by and be so passive to just complain about why it's not happening when at the same time, we're not doing the hard work that we need to do to actually make it happen? Is it fear? Are you afraid? Are you lazy? Do you not actually want it? Are you allowing some victim mentality to feed significance in your life? Like, like, oh, I want it, but you know, but, but, but reason after reason after reason. And then people come along and they feel compassionate for you and you don't have to face those fears. You don't have to overcome those hard things. And, and we just go, oh, you know, poor Johnny can't do it. You can't do it. Or are you too busy, right? Does it feel selfish for you to focus on yourself? Like, are you too busy trying to make everyone else happy? To do what you need to do for you? Are you too worried about conflict? Or, you know, the fact that people might judge you? Are you afraid that this change will mess up your relationships? It might cost you something to actually get what you want and deserve? Spend some time thinking about this. Like, really? I find talking to my wife, uh, I find talking to friends, I find podcasting about it helps me work through these questions. I like to write, I like to journal. And more than anything though, coming to terms and taking ownership over the fact that, you know what? Mark Drager has no one to blame but himself. Third person talking, weird, eh? You have no one to blame but yourself isn't something that you're going to do once. It's something that you have to check in on because you're going to forget in a few months. There's going to be a new challenge. There's going to be a new goal. You are going to forget about it. This, this is a constant in your life. You need to work on this because every challenge is a new challenge. Okay, all of that was just number one. This brings us now to number two. What's the most important thing you can do today? What is the most important thing you can do today? You've just worked through the thing you want. You know what you want. You want to earn more money so you don't feel so afraid to spend, right? You don't feel so insecure. You want a stronger relationship. You want better health. You want to pursue your passion or your dream. You want to get on stage. You want to start a company. You want to do something that you're not doing now. And so you, you figure that out and you know why you're messing it up because of fear, because of doubt, because of laziness. So let's get over that and start actually making some progress. <laughs> let's go, right? So ask yourself, what's the most important thing you can do today? It doesn't have to be crazy big. It doesn't have to be overwhelming. For me, I have three areas I'm focused on right now and each one of those areas has a most important thing that I have to do every day. Planning and recording these videos was number one for me today because things have been crazy lately, like really crazy. And I wasn't prioritizing making content. So that was my number one today. So track with me. You have a goal. The only way to achieve it is to do the stuff to move towards it, but you're not doing it. So make it simple. Want to lose weight? So let's make it simple. You want to lose weight? I lost 50 pounds. Basically following this, the most important thing I can do today if I want to lose weight is to stick to my diet for the whole day. From when I wake up to when I go to bed and go for a one hour walk. Perfect. Diet and exercise. I have a goal. I'm not doing what I need to do, so I'm not losing weight. Okay, I have a goal. I'm going to do what I need to do. The most important thing I can do today to help me hit my goal 
is to actually just stick to the diet. Stick to the commitment I made to myself. And if I don't, I'm robbing future me of feeling good about myself. Yeah. Wanna grow sales? What do you do, right? Is it is the most important thing you can do today to like email or call or DM 50 people? Is it to book three calls? Is it to start a new ad campaign? Is it to write a new landing page? Like what, you need to grow sales. What is the most important and impactful thing you can do today to take a step towards that goal? You can't have 20 most important things. <laughs> it's not prioritizing if everything is on the list. There's a lot you can do and there's a lot you can get done, but, but what's the most important thing? What's the key thing? What's the thing that's actually gonna build some momentum and help drive you forward so you stop wasting so much time? And when you stack day after day of most important thing, you start to make progress, like little by little, little by little, you make progress, which makes you just feel extraordinary. You feel like a rock star. You feel so good. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, you know, I haven't been super strict lately on my diet. We're during this COVID shutdown thing and I was I was working out, I was jogging, I was running, you know, three, four, five times a week, but I wasn't really pushing myself and I wasn't waking up early. I was starting to sleep in till 6.30 or seven, which is sleeping in for me. And I didn't really realize as I watched each of these little things slip. And I didn't really realize how much it was affecting my confidence and my belief in myself and my speed and my attack time. And suddenly, the last two days, I've gone, I've gotten less sleep. I've gotten up early. The gym has opened back up. I'm eating well again. And just changing those four things has literally shifted my feeling, my confidence in myself, my, my feeling in what we're doing at work, at where we can go, at what could be. I feel proud again for once when I don't spend most days feeling that way. And so it was just me realigning to what I need to do, make sure that I'm not robbing future me of the things that I want. And for me, it starts feeling good about myself. This is how you move from someone who spends all their time making excuses to becoming someone who actually makes progress. And you're not going to say you make excuses. Grownups don't make excuses. Grownups have reasons, right? The reason I couldn't do it was this. The reason I couldn't get you that thing was I'm so busy focused over here. Um, I don't have time. I can't do it. Excuses, all excuses. And this is someone that anyone can do, especially you, especially you. Like if you are watching this, you can do this. Why else are you watching this? So stop, please stop making excuses. Go get the things that you want. Go get the things that you deserve and stop wasting time. Okay, let's go. Let's go. I've learned a bunch of things the hard way over the last few years. And I want to be able to always help you out. So if you like this video, check out this one right here as well. I think you'd like it a lot and I will see you there.